Hey folks, it's truly invigorating. We're just going to show you how it looks when the market's up. This is the time to buy puts, which I bought some Google puts just in case it crashes. That 107 call I bought for $30 like an hour and a half ago. It was up to 140 a minute ago. And the way it works is once I've hit that 107.32 mark, everything after that's, it's like you you got 100 shares of it. Each call is 100 shares or put. Puts, if you think it's going to go down, you want to buy puts. So as the market goes up, you buy puts so that they're cheaper. In case it goes down, you're protected. It's a hedge against the bet. The bulls got out the other day, so I thought, hey, maybe we're on for a bull market. All month we were supposed to have a big rise in stock prices. Never did it really. Now it's almost, the month's almost over. I had, thank God, bought puts, and that's how I protected myself when the market didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Because you never know. Even the people on TV are on. But just having Google go up 4%, $30 call triples, just about. God, they're being goofy on Fox Business. They're funny. See, when they talk like that, you make sure you buy your puts because that don't mean the market's going to just keep going up. I really should have sold it, but I still got another day left tomorrow. If it goes sky high, I don't want to miss out. And if I if I was to keep it and it was in the money, I'd have to have the money to buy the shares. So that dollar seventeen is really at one hundred seventeen dollars, and then you take that times a hundred. That's how much money I'd have to have, like $11,000. See, exercise, continue, cover an early assignment. Continue. Look at that. 10,700 if I was to just exercise it now. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> You got to be careful because those puts don't always come back as much as the calls go down.
especially time decay is factored in. Time decay just means as your call option and uh, <clears throat> reaches its expiration date, the money goes down with time decay. So you gotta hope the increases outpace it. So you better off doing cheap calls and puts just to keep your losses low but the closer you get to the strike price of what the price already is, the chances are you're going to have better success. I had bought this $113 call for $60 the other day, but it kept going down, so that's why I kept buying more. Now if it just goes up a little bit, I'll have a pretty good increase there. Keep an eye on the VIX too, V-I-X. It's like a stock ticker that helps you figure out the volatility index. Tesla just screws me over every time I touch it. <laughs> if you ever buy Tesla call or option, option call or put, buy both calls and puts because it will go all over the place. I'm just an amateur trying to show people how it works and make a little money while I'm hanging out trying to heal. I'm pretty much on call all the time in case the bulls get out. We got a farm here and the bulls are getting so big that they put their head outside the fence to get grass and they break the damn wood. They always think the grass is greener. We'll check back with you folks. I just want to show you how this goes up and down so fast. You got to watch it. See this little, give me a little burst here, show you how it works. Okay. See, when it was at 4% increase, it was like at $140, not $1.40. That's 100 shares, $117. The higher your stock is that you're dealing with, the more it could go down or up. So when it goes down and you've got like a, Tesla or Nvidia, something really high costing, it's gonna it's gonna go down faster. It's not gonna hold its value as much. We're getting a little burst here. Let's hope it outpaces it. Outpace the time decay for me. me a little burst.
SoFi call. If it goes to over to six dollars and fifty-two cents by chance by tomorrow, then it could just be straight profit. And I've seen that happen before. Even though it's only two dollars right now. Not two cents, two dollars. Take it times a hundred, folks. Ooh, getting a burst. We got bulls and bull markets. Come on, baby. But because the economy is so shaky right now, it could go down any time. Like a lot of times, Google will go down in the mornings. So if I have a put, I'll just sell the put, double up on the call if I think it's going to rebound. There we go. Come on. Looking for that second wind. And they also say, like, if it doesn't crash or go way down at 9.30 or 10.30, right between that area, then it may be an up day for the rest of the day. But if it by then it goes, starts really crashing, then you're just screwed for the rest of the day. <laughs> Because I think everybody else that's not like everyday traders finally gets in and decides what they want to do. Start selling or buying. Hey, we're getting a little burst. Sometimes these calls or puts just go like a rock. What? I don't know if that's right, but I think maybe my lie heap just kicked in. They used to give me $700 credit because I'm poor. <laughs> Till my YouTube and stock start hitting. It's like a program in Illinois that makes sure you're, if you don't have electric and you need help, they give you help. Which I just now got to that point of no extra funds paid all my debts and I've been ill well I think we showed you how this little increase can go that was pretty cool It's coming up. That's cool. I hope that's hope that's from them. Woohoo! Thank you, Lord. I'm not gonna die. Oh, 
I want that 113 call to go up to $4 again. It just did earlier and I didn't sell it. 21 of them times four is 80 bucks. Got a blue jay hollering out the outside. See, the market's been going down ever since Biden took over, dumped all that money into the economy, and then inflation set in, the Ukraine war happened, Afghanistan, I mean, one thing after another, covering from COVID. They started hiking rates, and all the people started getting out. Now it's hopefully a bull market again. But look, if Google goes up to like 113, those 21 shares will be worth 50 bucks. <laughs> we'll see you later, folks. We'll be back.